Tobacco pipes are part of French heritage. Everyone remembers their grandfather and their uncle, that they saw smoking a pipe and the smell of tobacco has stayed with them from childhood. The pipe maker creates something that has a particular shape, that has lure, beauty. Right at the end, we're going to curve the step because that is going to be a curved pipe. It has to be beautiful, fluid. Pipes are first and foremost about taking your time, the pipe maker taking his time to work the wood, and the smoker, who's in no hurry to have his fill. That's how I see pipe smoking. Above all, it's a celebration of taking your time. In some parts of Paris, the passage of time means little. In workshops such as this one, you can find artisans continuing age-old traditions. Pierre Voisin is a master pipe maker, heir to a family business that's been around since the days of Napoleon III. Our family business in Paris goes back five generations. It was started by my ancestors in 1867. I make, repair and restore old pieces for clients who are collectors or museums, and so on. Pierre Voisin has carried on the expertise, passed down through generations of his family. This is an example of my work. It's a classic straight pipe with what we call the bowl. The chamber, that's the inside part, the shank and the stem. It's made with the same techniques that were in use 100 years ago. Because of its history and Pierre's know-how, his shop, La Pipe du Nord, has become the place for pipe enthusiasts such as Nicolas Touffle to come together. Tobacco arrived in the 17th century. At first, people smoked it with clay pipes. Then, halfway through the 19th century, we discovered that briar wood was resistant to fire and therefore would make very good pipes. From then on, the first briar wood pipes began to be made. There we go. We have a lovely curved model here with a dark tent. You can get curved models like this in natural wood, too. This wood is exactly how it was on the production line. It hasn't been colored or varnished. Pipes can be made from other materials, such as meerschaum, but it's briar wood which gave French craftsmen their worldwide reputation. The briar wood pipe was invented over 150 years ago, and France was very much its birthplace. It's important to stress that the first briar pipes were made in France. Tobacco pipes are associated with many a literary figure, including a very famous English detective. Pipe smoking is connected with history and literature the pleasure of reading, and it's especially linked to Sherlock Holmes. In the Arthur Conan Doyle books, Sherlock couldn't solve a mystery without taking a puff, much like the fictional French detective Maigret. Frankly, if pipe smoking were banned in films, you'd be misrepresenting the original characters in the story. Following in the tradition of his forefathers, Pierre is now handing down his expertise to an apprentice, Marie Aurélie. So this is the very first step to making the bowl of the pipe. Let's start with the block of braille you need to make a classic pipe. You can see we've already got a very decent block of wood. You need a lot of it to make a good pipe. Much like the art of pipe smoking itself, Marie Aurélie takes her time to listen and learn the art of handmaking the perfect piece. I think it's the kind of expertise that you learn over a long period of time. It involves mentoring and friendship, and you don't get that in just one year. It's not like a university course. You become an artisan pipe maker by learning from your peers. I learned from my father, and we learn on the job especially, working with the master craftsmen above us. 
Marie Aurélie already knows she'll one day pass on the skills that she's now learning. I really think it's an act of faith. Pierre is teaching me everything he knows about pipes. I'm not sure knowledge is something he gives away easily. <laughs> For me, it's a gift, and such a valuable one, that I want to make the most of it and pass it on. Both the teacher and his student know that the best craftsmanship is lost unless the skills are handed down to others. It's a real pleasure to pass on my knowledge, so that it doesn't end with me. It's very important to teach these skills to others. Artists and pipe makers take great pleasure in their work. They want you to enjoy what they make. I really hope that young people start learning the trade. It's important to keep it going. It teaches something else, too. The pleasure of settling down in the evening, relaxing and having a smoke of your pipe. It's about choosing to take your time, which can be a luxury.